Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to be looking at the Bison Terra MK2 Fishing Barrow. I got this barrow a few days ago as I was looking for something to get my gear from the car to the peg when I'm fishing. Uh, don't have a lot of money to spare especially with the time of year that's coming up and was just looking around to see what was cheap or half decent cheap kind of thing. Uh, this bar in particular is right on the low end of the budget, it costs £65 and that was on eBay. I've been looking for a fishing bar for a while, I don't have a big budget as I get to fish maybe once twice a week tops but my local place where I'm fishing at the minute the pegs can be quite far and trying to lug a load of gear just on your own is just not happening for me at the minute it's uh, obviously coming into autumn now um, it's raining more it's wet and it's windy it's getting muddier and it's just becoming a becoming a chore trying to carry all everything down to your peg it's not so bad if you're right near where your car's parked, but a lot of the time you're going to be travelling a fair bit of distance. So I was having a look around for some relatively cheap. I uh, saw the um, Bison Terror on eBay for £65. So I had a bit of look around and see what people's reviews were. There was a mixed bag really, there was some good, bad and some kind of in between. Um, a lot of people did say that on this the wheel itself isn't great uh, a lot of people recommended on changing the wheel so but to be honest you can probably pick up a, a wheel that will fit this for maybe 10 20 quid from your local Wix slash B and Q or even online so I thought I'd give it a go I had a look on YouTube there is a few videos not nothing majorly and I took the plunge, paid the money and got delivered a couple of days ago so I thought well what the heck why not do a little unboxing video as well so it came in two boxes first box was just a wheeling on its own and the larger box came with the actual meat of the barrow kind of it's already made up for the most part you've got two handles and it's all literally not far off ready to go so you just have to attach the wheel, attach the handles, uh, clip the bag back into place and then you're pretty much ready to go. So you've got quick release kind of a uh, clip here where you just um, release that and pull the legs back and then pop your clip back in place and then Flip it upside down, and you've got three kind of uh, wind nut style bolts. So I think, compared to some of the more expensive brands on the market, I think the pack up time and pack down time is probably going to be a little bit long. Obviously, some of these have uh, quick release, whereas this is doesn't. Although, in reality, I don't think it takes that long, to be fair, to put it up. Once you've got the wheel on, literally, it's pretty much 90% there. So you just undo the two, wing, same as the front wing nut style handle mounts. They're non-adjustable. Um, so I guess in that respect it's not as not as versatile, you can't adjust the length of the handles, you can't adjust the length of the feet, uh, the length of the feet sorry, it's kind of where it goes is where it goes, there's no room for it, but improvement, but if we're being honest for £65 which is what? Six kilo of bait. If you're from Wazala or. It's an X 
so no really for, for what you're getting. Obviously I've got the, 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 the maximum weight on the wheel for this says 54 kilos. Um, I don't know what that means because I can stand on this. I weigh quite a lot more than 54 kilos. You've got a nice big kind of barrow bag underneath. These are adjustable via these straps obviously because that obviously touches the ground but what you can do is you can pull these down at the back and the sides and then again at the front just pop these off and it just then um, kind of raises the height compared to that um, width doesn't look too bad. I don't know if I'll get my Fox EOS 2 bed chair on here. Um, but if not, I'm more tempted to like flat put my bed on top, open the legs of the bed, and then proceed to load it with everything in the world. Um, feels relatively sturdy. I think for a basic barrow, cheap I think if you're careful with it I think it'll do you right it's not gonna be your uh, top spec all the bells and whistles it's just a basic barra and I think if you're just after something to get you from the car park to the to the bank or the peg wherever it is I think this is gonna save you a lot of time probably save you a lot of sweating um, but I just finally needed something. My poor wife's been helping me when she comes along, and when it's bad and after a long day, it's like oh, I've got to pack all my gear. I've got to carry it to the car. I've got to do twenty trips. So I took the plunge. Like I say, I'll do an updated video on when I've used it. I'm going fishing this Saturday, so I'll try and get some uh, some clips with all my gear on it and do a bit of a review afterwards on how I thought it handled it. Um, I'll do a close up walk around of the barrow so you can have a look. Uh, if you've got any questions that you want to know about this barrow, uh, let me know. I'll put a link to where I bought this from in the description so you can go and have a look yourself if you want to buy one. I don't know if you do. Um, but it'll do me for now until I save up enough money to upgrade to one of the uh, bigger brand names. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe for any more content. Whenever I buy any fishing gear or anything related, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video and then I'm gonna follow it up after with a review or my, my own review. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I buy the gear for myself. Um, I did a review a couple of weeks ago on the Sabre S4 alarms. I needed some alarms, bought some, so I thought, why not? I'll do an unboxing setup and then followed it up with a review on what I thought they were like. Um, hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time.